look like would it be like good oh, YouTube? This is me coming at you to give you my two cents on the King Sun 16X. But before I do that, let me get somewhere less congested. Now that I am somewhere less congested, I'm going to give you my two cents on the new King Song 16X. If I didn't know any better, I swear to you not. The Gotway MSX and the King Song 16S got together and produced a love child, and that love child is the new King Song 16X. And the reason why I say that is qualities that you will find in both these PEVs you will find wrapped up in the King Song 16X. And what I and why I say that is the King Song 16X has a slender design of that of the 16S. However, it has the girth like the MSX giving it that slim thick feel, if you will. It's a 16-inch wheel like that of the King Song 16S. The handling is like the 16S in its nimbleness. However, it has that beefy 3-inch tire like that of the MSX. It has the carbon fiber look alike or, or wannabe out of shell like the MSX. It has the easy release foot pegs like the MSX and the speed although the MSX has a top speed of 35 miles per hour and the 16X has a top speed of 31 miles per hour out the gate the King Song 16X is spot on it's quick on the draw what else can I say um, the trolley handle like the King Song series, you can disengage the wheel with the trolley handle. Now, anyone that has dealt with King Songs in the past know that was a bone of contention with the 18L and the 18XL. When they first released the 18L, the trolley handle it was a hit and miss. You would pull it up, you wait for the beat to lift the tire or lift the, the PEV, and sometimes the tire was disengaged, sometimes it did not. With the new 16X, you lift the handle and it disengages the tires. Not a problem at all. Now, padding. The padding, like the MSX, leaves a lot to be desired. It's useless as far as I'm concerned. I can see them putting, uh, or myself, putting um, additional or aftermarket uh, padding down below because this serves as nothing this is almost like the Nicola but that's not a here nor there uh, what else can I say um, let me turn this around so I can give you some specs on this and I failed to mention that this is one of the quietest machines that King Song has produced thus far the lighting. The lighting, you can see, this has three settings. You can see it is, what, 15 feet in front of you. The first setting for the lighting would be the double light high beams. Second setting. Bluetooth is disconnected. Well, thank you for that. The second setting is high, two, two lightings, low beam. The third setting is one lighting, low beam and then you have your off. You have your sensor, you have your USB ports, dual USB ports, so if you want to charge your MP3 player, music, phone, or whatever, you can do that. You also have your dual charging ports like the 18L and the XL. You have your, your one speaker, um, which leaves a lot to be desired, as with most of the King songs which comes standard you have your mud flap again with the um, I didn't mention with the foot pegs with the 16 X you have a gel insert gives it that shock absorbency 
if you will, for off-roading. Bluetooth is connected. And as you can see, it loves to talk. Thank you very, very much for that. Let me back you up. Okay. Now, I was able to, when I, I, I will say I am operating off of firmware 1.06. Um, I haven't had any problems with that firmware. However, the pegs will tilt backwards, I notice, in uh, sharp turns. When you're um, going into uh, turns, the foot pegs will tend to dip you backwards. For me, I actually taught myself how to turn that way about a year and a half ago when I started riding um, PEVs. However, uh, some folks will find that concerning uh, because they're not used to a machine tilting them backwards when they're going into turns. Uh, outside of that, that's really the only issue that I, for me, but it can be an issue for some folks. Again, I taught myself how to turn that way, so I'm fine with it. It is kind of weird because the machine is doing it and you're not, but outside of that, n no problems whatsoever. Also, because I'm dealing with a second generation um, 16X, I don't have, I think it's a G. X or GT tire that post production or the generation, the first generation of the 16X had. I, on the other hand, um, have the Xiao Yang tires. I don't have any problems in the machine doing what I wanted to do. I don't have to fight it like I'm assuming the Z10. A lot of people said there was a learning curve to the Z10 because of the fat tire or the tire in general wanting to basically go according to the grooves and ridges of the road. I've ridden the 16X off-road, uh, different substrates, and I did not have a problem one way or the other with it basically uh, going where I wanted it to go. I have um, footage of me riding off-road, which I will link into this video. Also, maneuvering the 16X going up hills, is really, and when I went up hills, like it was nothing. And usually for me, going uphill is a struggle. I make them up the hill depending on the grade of the hill. I tend to struggle going up sharp hills or steep hills, but like that, especially with the MXX because MXX is kind of a beefy, heavier. PEV, and I really can't say that because the 16X basically weighs the same. It's a couple of ounces shy of being uh, 52 pounds, and it's like 51.8 pounds, and the MSX is 52 pounds. So I really don't know why that is, but maybe it because of it, 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 although it is thick, it's slender, and it just. I guess that they boast that 2200 watt motor um, it's a little bit more powerful so maybe that's what gives me that edge going up the hill with the 16x
also, um, I, I did mention it is the quietest machine that I have. I have five, six machines. Even the Gotway MSX is a little bit noisier than the 16X. What else can I say about the 16X? Oh, braking people, I, I'm, I'm assuming uh, it's the firmware. However, I have not had any issues on braking. Again, I don't know if it's, it was, it's the tire or the firmware or just a combination of the two and coupled with riders um, ability however I took it out and did some speed drills and I will link it here So as you can see, the way in which I'm, you can hear the 16X telling me to slow down and I'm braking and there's no wobble in me braking, but maybe my hard braking and your hard braking is different. When we're doing reviews, you always got to remember um, my experience or other riders' experience is going to be somewhat different than your experience, depending on the type of rider you are. I am not an aggressive rider. I'm, I would consider myself moderately aggressive when it comes to riding PEVs. So if you're an aggressive rider, your experience may be different as far as when you go to brake. So again, watch my video uh, that I've linked and you know gauge it for yourself. But again, I have not had any issues with um, wobbling when uh, I'm, I brake. Now also when I uh, upgraded so when I first got the machine which is about a week ago so I'm like a weekend uh -huh. with this uh, with the 16X I did not ex uh, I, I upgraded to the 1.06 firmware now in the process of upgrading the firmware I noticed but I didn't pay attention that the limiter as far as how many kilometers you had to go uh, in order to unleash the speed was a lot less than the 200 kilometers. Uh, so with that being said, I was able to get the 16X to 29.3 miles, which I'll link here. Please decelerate. And that was less than, um, I had less than uh, 20, what, uh, 100 and, or 200 kilometers. I had less than 200 kilometers, in other words. So I'm assuming, again, I, I don't know this because I didn't pay attention because I, because I deal with King Song wheels. So I was, my mindset was at the 200 kilometers. So when I, uploaded or the firmware the new firmware or the current firmware the current firmware did have on there it, it was in the double digits at 40 I don't know 30 don't hold me to it but the 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 distance you had to put on the 16x was a lot less in order to unlock the speed but in saying that when I did my test run to see how fast I can get the machine I noticed prior to you reaching, I want to say maybe 25 miles per hour, you got a slight tilt back. Then when you continue to give it that lean to get more speed going, you got the beeping noise. And when you ignored the beep, beep the beeping noise, then you had the please decelerate and when you continue to go beyond that, you got that snatch back. And anyone knows with King Song, they have like this violent tilt back, and I call it the snatch back because it feels like you're being snatched back. So for me, I found when it did the violent tilt back, according to Strava, that's the, the um, app I use to uh, 
calculate how fast I was going, it was at 29.3 miles. So with that being said, I don't know if it will reach the 31 miles since I got that violent tilt back or yank back, if you will, at 29.3. It remains to be seen, so I don't know if it's, it's that firmware that won't allow me to get to uh, 30, 31 but um, I'll keep plugging it along and see if I can. Uh, so, again, it's quick, nimble. I've had no issues with the throttling like most, some folks uh, have. I try to do uh, a video, which I will insert here, on showing you how I stop. But, again, my riding style, stopping style may not be conducive for... For all, but nonetheless, um, for me, it works. Uh, what else can I say about the 16X? Would I recommend this wheel? Yes, I would. Would I recommend any of these wheels? Yes, I would. Um, for the most part, these wheels basically perform the same. Some go faster than others, some a little bit more nimble, but the concepts are all the same. So, I would recommend this even to someone who's just starting out. Um, I do want to give a shout out to Free Motion, who sold me the wheel, gave me a great price. Basically, all my wheels I've gotten from Free Motion: the MSX, the 16X, the uh, 16S, and my 18L. I mean, I've never had an issue where it, if in contacting them I never had an issue if I had an issue they addressed the issue immediately um, I have nothing but praise uh, for them and again I would recommend them to anyone that is looking to purchase uh, wheels so until next time guys deuces thank you for watching subscribe if you like and like if you will deuces